So I was like, I was already, I was there. Like I had it all laid out in front of me. I knew what's happening. It was intimate. It was, you know, it was a small space, so we were we were proximal to each other. Uh, it was messy at points. I was curious because it looked gross, and a lot of times it smelled gross. So that's, I I think all those things together, that's what it was like. I like woke up and there's a lot of smoke in the room last night. And uh, I didn't have a good sleep. Five hours of sleep. Uh, I spoke with him this morning, and he told me he was going to do it. He had the idea to do it over over foe. My girlfriend Angela filmed you, and she filmed you, and she has this footage, and it makes me uncomfortable, and. Um, there's got to be better ways to spend your time. What I'm calling it is lasagna. Yeah. That's what I'm calling it. Just the, uh... That's not right. That's fucked up, dude. But the thing that first hit me was when I walked in, I, I thought that maybe we had left garbage out in the floor or something, or there had been rotten meat or something, and I was like, what the, what the fuck is wrong with my kitchen? And I walk in, and there's Jay with a bunch of, like, raw beef and spinach, frozen spinach cubes, and raw... Like, it just... I was like, what, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Like, what are you doing? And then when he told me what he was doing, I was like... You're an idiot. <laughs> smell good? No. You sure? Yeah, I'm positive. That's not me. That's the face of death. He just doesn't know what spinach smells like. Well, like, you don't know what's going to happen when you set out on this type of thing, right? Like, culinary adventures are, you know, very, very personal. How about you, Fred? What, what do you think about the lasagna? Um, I'm going to be very surprised if it's edible. Very surprised. What? It smells like, like it, lasagna. Like his, like his ass. It still. Ooh. It smelled terrible. I think at one point in time, I I made a racist comment. Made lasagna, yeah, which is a lasagna blended and then used as the sauce for another lasagna. I did get to taste the first lasagna that was going to be reconstituted into another lasagna. And the first lasagna tasted, oh, it tasted okay. It wasn't the best lasagna, but it was okay. It was when you made the final lasagna, and I don't know why everybody thinks this was such a tasty lasagna. It tasted like noodles, undercooked noodles, because it was just noodles. And some mashed up lasagna. It, was, it wasn't a lasagna. You buy your ingredients and you're like, well, this is the ingredients for that one lasagna. But you know that you're going to, when you make that one lasagna, you're gonna make your puree or whatever. You're gonna you're gonna put it in the blender, and then you're gonna use that as your base for your lasagna. Yeah. Yeah, it was excellent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was excellent. It tasted just like lasagna, except well, it was mostly noodles added to another lasagna, and some more cheese. That, that whole idea of, you know, make your money work for you. Well, you know, how about make your food work for you? You know, food squared, right? So Everything you do in life has to be important to you. And 
um, this morning, you know, after all the thinking, when I had the concept turn into a reality, that's when I knew I'd done something special. I'd like to see more out of Jay, and I think there's a lot of ways he can go. I'm looking forward to eating some pierogi geese, and I suppose you could make some poutine teen. Teen. Like there's a difference between like saying, haha, I'm going to make a lasagna out of lasagna, and following through and making a lasagna out of lasagna. Not, not, to just, like, not to just make the lasagna, but to make it good. And it hasn't been done before. Nobody's done this. There are new things all the time. They're actually quite rare, and this is one of them. So I'm glad to be a part of it.